In this lesson, we will be looking at CPR and AED use for children, which is a vital skill that can save a life. CPR in children is very similar to that in adults. The main goals are to push hard and fast enough to give proper breaths. Often, rescuers are scared of giving chest compressions out of fear of hurting the child, but it's important to remember that without CPR, the child could die. Place the child on his or her back on a firm and hard surface. Remove any clothing away from the chest. Place the heel of your hand on the lower half of the breastbone. Push straight down approximately 2 inches at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. And let the chest recoil to its normal position after every compression. Giving breaths during CPR can provide oxygen to the blood and brain. Many children who need CPR have had a breathing problem that caused the heart to beat irregularly or stop. Signs of ineffective breathing include slow breathing, very shallow or sporadic breathing, and absence of any breaths at all. To open the victim's airway, put one hand on their forehead. Place your fingers on the bony part of the chin and gently tilt the head back while lifting the chin. To give breaths, hold their airways open as above and pinch their nose shut. Take a deep breath and seal your mouth around the victim's mouth. Blow into their mouth for one second and watch their chest rise. And repeat with a second breath. CPR, including giving breaths, is generally safe. If a mask is available, it should be used. The mask fits over the child's mouth and nose. Follow these steps when using a mask to give breaths. Place the mask over the victim's mouth and nose. Open their airway by performing the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Ensure a good seal between the mask and their face. Give a breath over one second and watch the chest rise. Deliver a second breath. An AED can deliver a pediatric shock to help restart the heart. The steps for AED use in children are the same as AED use in adults. Pediatric pads should be used on victims less than 8 years old. But if pediatric pads are not available, you can use adult pads. Do not let the adult pads overlap one another. You may need to put one of the pads on the child's back if the child is small. Some AEDs have a switch that can be set to deliver to a pediatric shock. Be sure to start CPR. Press the on button. Expose the chest. Apply pediatric pads with one on the upper right chest and one on the lower left chest bone below the armpit. Make sure no one is touching the victim if a shock is advised by the AED. Press the shock button when advised by the AED. Resume CPR immediately. Here's some information on calling EMS and 911. Always be sure the scene is safe when approaching a child victim. Tap and shout, are you okay? If unresponsive, yell for help and send somebody to call 911 and get an AED. Check their breathing. Begin CPR if the child is barely breathing or only gasping. If alone, give five sets of compressions and breaths before calling 911. Let's put this all together. Children have breathing difficulties more often than they have an actual heart problem. For that reason, it's important to begin CPR quickly and perform five sets of CPR before going to get additional help. Unresponsiveness and gasping equals CPR. Make sure the scene and area around the child is safe. Tap and shout, are you okay? Yell for help. Check breathing. If the child isn't responding or only gasping, do five sets of 30 compressions and two breaths. 
Call 911, get an AED. And resume CPR. Choking is a preventable cause of death that occurs when food or another object becomes stuck in the throat. Encourage the child to cough and stand near them. Here's the chart, which is also in your manual, for choking. Feel free to study this. For relief of choking, perform the Heimlich maneuver. Follow these steps. Ask the child if they are choking. Tell them you will help. Stand behind them and wrap your arms around their body below the rib cage. Make a fist with one hand and place it just above the belly button. Grab the fist with your other hand and deliver quick upward thrusts. Continue until the object comes out and breathing is possible, or the child stops responding. If you can see a foreign object that is easily removable, do so. Avoid blindly sweeping the mouth with a finger. If the child stops responding, lay them down and yell for help. After 30 compressions, open the airway and look for the foreign object, and if possible, remove it and give breaths. That concludes this lesson.